Hey guys, Aris Hardware Busters. Today, for the change, we have a UPS, a Power Walker UPS VI800 STL, capacity 800 VA or 480 W, line interactive. It uh, has a stepped simulated output waveform, compact dimensions, two SUCO sockets at the back side. It also has an LCD panel providing voltage input output load and battery levels price 50 euros about the same price in dollars two years warranty it is supported by software uh, the software is called powermaster it is an easy to use app with some nice features like testing and draining the ups battery it is compatible with windows mac os and linux the ups now has increased power consumption in standby and idle exceeding 11 watt in both cases The battery lasted 4 minutes and 4 seconds with a 300 watt load which is a satisfactory period. The UPS got quite hot though since it lacks a cooling fan and the heatsinks of its converter are small. So don't even think to replace the battery with a larger one because if you do this you will most likely fry the UPS if you let it run on battery with a high load for a more extended period. Finally, the power factor is very low while the UPS is on battery because of the step output. Low power factor means more energy going wasted and a lower watt per VA ratio. Battery switching time, AC loss and AC gain. The switching time to the battery is over 10 milliseconds and for the clean output it exceeds 20 milliseconds. So you better use a good PSU with this UPS if you connect to a PC at least. A PSU that meets the 80x specs minimum hold up period. AVR testing. The AVR performs quite well since it doesn't allow voltage to drop below 192 volt or above or go above 251 volt. However, it would be ideal if the lowest voltage was above 200 volt, but this is okay, a highly affordable UPS, so I shouldn't be so picky here. Moreover, the voltage range input that the AVR covers is 164.5 volt to 289 volt without engaging the battery. Difficulty of a battery changing procedure. To reach the battery, I had to remove the bottom screws since the front cover didn't want to go out and I didn't want to damage the casing. 
The battery is rated at 12 volt and it has 7.5 ampere hour capacity. It is provided by Fujian Minhua Power Source, a brand that I had never heard of before. Besides the battery, we find a plain layout with several major filtering components missing at the internals. In the input and output filters, we only find X caps and no other filtering parts. There is no move in the UPS input, so this device doesn't offer surge protection. This is a big miss since moves are not expensive but can save the day in case of voltage spikes. The main transformer is rated at class B, meaning that its insulation is good at up to 130 centigrade with an ambient of 40 centigrade. The unit's inverter uses 8 N channel feds provided by Guxi China resources. Each can handle up to 150 amps, so on paper they are ok, but they are installed on tiny heatsinks, so their cooling is inefficient, meaning that a bigger battery could lead to problems. Capacitors. The caps I found on the board are, are by Sascon, except the DC link cap by Jamicon, which is pretty good. Bottom line, this is an affordable UPS, so I didn't expect much. I cannot understand though why to save some pennies and don't install and move, which will provide search protection and essential protection for the UPS and its connected system. In other words, it is a great shame for a UPS not to have and move in its input. Moreover, the filtering stages only included single X caps, so they are not adequate. With $1 tops more, this product would be way better and above all safer. They used small heatsinks on the inverter to save some more bugs which get hot as hell, so don't even dare to replace the battery with a larger one, unless you like fireworks. For the small system and given that it is used along with a surge protector, this power rocket UPS will be ok. Let's face it. With 50 to 60 dollars or euros, don't expect to get a decent UPS. You need to invest triple as much to buy a good one, offering also a true sign output that won't mess with your PSU's APFC converter. Pros affordable, pretty good AVR operation, Jamicon cap in the inverter, compact dimensions, two Suco sockets, up to 360 watt load on the battery and up to 600 watt on mains. Silent operation, since it doesn't have a cooling fan. Nice software, compatible with all popular operating systems. And an LCD screen in this price range is a nice touch. Cons, stepped output, quite a long time for battery switching, small heat sinks in the inverter, no line filters and no move, and Sascon capacitors are not that great. Hope you liked uh, today's review not the product. I don't know if you like the product or not. I just hope you liked uh, my review. Uh, if you want more UPS reviews, you can leave a comment and also suggest some models. But please uh, take into account that nobody, almost nobody sends us any UPS products to review. They are afraid. I don't know why. So, uh, especially these affordable uh, devices, we have to buy on our own. So, if you want, you can support us to Patreon. Uh, this will give us the capability to buy more products to review, especially the affordable and cheap products that nobody sends for review purposes. Uh, please subscribe also to our channel to help us grow larger. And I said enough. Till the next video.